The touch screens on our phones appear to be made of glass. But pressing the glass cannot transmit the signals from our fingertips. So what hidden magic is going on here? How do our screens sense? The secret is a thin film made of a rare material with nothing short of superpowers. It is both transparent and conductive. The combination of these two properties is very hard to find. Iron and copper, for instance, transmit electrical signals, but plating a touchscreen with these metals would turn it into an opaque plaque, making it a little difficult to locate an app or answer a call. What's the magic ingredient? Please meet indium. Symbol IN. Atomic number 49. Named after the color indigo. Squeaks when bent. In 1863, German chemists Ferdinand Reich and Theodor Richter stumbled upon indium while looking for another chemical element, thallium. Reich, who was colorblind, asked his assistant Richter to look at a sample's color spectrum for clues. Richter detected a bright indigo spectral line, the first sighting of today's most wanted material. Unfortunately, the two chemists later fell out, as Richter claimed to be the sole discoverer. The dispute over its origins did not hamper its career. Indium is a very soft, silver-grey metal on which you can leave a scratch with your fingernails. It can form a solid coating on the surface of other metals and doesn't rust. These two properties gave it an important role in the Second World War. Using it on bearings of aircraft engines greatly expanded their lifespan. Researchers discovered more uses for indium as time went by. It will only melt at 156.6 degrees Celsius, easily forms compounds and is very ductile, meaning it can be bent into all sorts of shapes without breaking. It is, for instance, used in thermometers as a non-toxic substitute for mercury. But it's the IT industry that really got its career started. In the form of indium tin oxide, or ITO for short, this super material found its way into our everyday lives. Most of our flat screens and touch screens use the transparent and conductive thin films it helps create. Today, more than 80% of indium produced is used to make such films. So why is the combination of these two qualities, transparency and conductivity, so rare? Because they conflict with each other. To understand why, we need to zoom in on the particles that materials are made of. Electrons can have different energy levels, a bit like us. If they get excited, when heated up for example, they can jump from one state to another. That's what we need them to do to transmit a signal, such as tapping on a button. But before jumping, they mine the gap, the band gap that is. According to energy band theory, which is used to describe the motions of electrons in solids, each substance consists of different amounts of electron energy, known as valence band, forbidden energy gap, and conduction band. In the valence band, electrons sit tight, while in the conduction band, they roam freely. Between the two, there is the so-called forbidden energy gap, where no electron can exist. In some materials, such as insulators or non-conductors, this gap is so wide that electrons cannot easily jump from one band to the other. However, materials with narrow band gaps are not transparent, since the visible light wave band has been well absorbed. With ITO, you can have your cake and eat it, or rather, you can see your app and click on it. It combines indium oxide, which has a band gap wide enough to allow the visible light to pass through, but is a poor electrical conductor, with tin oxide, which helps boost the number of electrons without any influence on the width of the band gap. This process is called doping, and yes, it's legal. The result, ITO, is a material almost as conductive as metals. At the same time, it still transmits 85% of light. When used as a very thin film, that's enough. Enough to let you admire a sunset pic on your mobile, and let you click to like it. And there's an extra perk. 
ultraviolet light, which is harmful to our bodies, cannot pass through it. That's why ITO is also used for products where that's important, such as protective glasses and solar panels. Even smart sunglasses using ITO are on their way. ITO film is currently the best transparent conductive material out there. However, it is rare and expensive, and the more screens we produce, the more expensive it gets. Its amazing qualities, conductivity in particular, also suffer when it's bent, which does not make it suitable for foldable phones or other flexible displays. Research is underway to find less scarce, more bendy alternatives. The shortlist currently includes materials called FTO, ASO, silver nanowires, metal mesh and graphene. Currently, none of these alternatives can match the simplicity of ITO's production process. While researchers work on that, indium remains a vital resource. The United States included it in a list of 35 imported materials critical to national security and the economy. China is the leading producer of indium, followed by South Korea, Japan, Canada and Belgium. There is a lot we can do to protect it. Recycling indium from scrap devices will play an important role. Also, you may want to think twice before discarding a perfectly good phone just because you fancy the latest model. Next year's releases will be even more amazing. They might even bend. The scientists who discovered indium may have fallen out over it, but the element still made the grade.